sight in the game to see the boxing boys. How is it like training up here in um, Northern California? Um, it's, it's been a blessing. Um, I've been working with, you know, Victor Conti brought me up here. I spoke to him. He's basically the chief. He, he's in charge of my camp. Um, he's set up with good trainers here, Mike Basil and, you know, Brian. Um, we got a good team, you know, thanks to Victor. I feel really good being up here. So this camp, you're going to have a whole camp up here. You're going to work with the hypoxic training. Uh, what, I noticed you training today. What was, what did, how did you feel with all, like, the regiments they put you through? Um, I've never done this in my whole career. It's the first time I'm doing this, you know, you know, taking supplements and, and stuff like that, you know, snack, you know, snack is my sponsor. Um, it's just different. It's on a different level. And, you know, I, it's something that I've been missing in my career. Okay. And when you look to return later on, you're going to stay at 154, I see. Yes. Because I was just wondering, because with all the supplementation and nutrition, sometimes maybe, like, you go, oh, my God, now I'm you at gain 150. Muscle. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, so that's the, that's the plan right now? Um, I've been good at 54. I've been on 54 since the Olympics. So I feel really comfortable at this weight. I could actually drop down to 47 if I wanted to. Um, I could also go up to 160 depending on the fight. So I feel comfortable right here at 54. I feel like I'm in the middle. You feel like it's the best version of you? I think so. I feel stronger at this weight. And I, had to, I was going to actually ask you about that. Uh, Olympian pedigree. Like, I feel like not many people in the world ever get to say they got to go to the Olympics. How yeah. was that experience? Give me, like, something fun. Like, did you um, buy, like, 15 hamburgers or something? Um, okay, well, I'll tell you, um, at the Olympic, uh, you know, at the village, we had a big cafeteria. And the cafeteria was so big, it had all the world inside. So I was, there was Yao Ming at another table, sitting with the, you know, Chinese people over there. And then on our table was all the NBA players. We had uh, thing, uh, Tim Duncan, Stefan Marbury. They were all sitting with us and eating with us. So it was all fun that we got to you know, talk to the players, the NBA players. And they were all sitting with us and eating with us. And it was really cool to see that. Did you, did you get to meet the beach volleyball players? Oh, yeah. Um, I met the one. I don't know. She had a tattoo on her back of the Olympic, Olympic rings. That tall one, the blonde girl. She's really cute. It was her. And then um, there was a Jenny Finch. You know, softball, she was there, I met her. So it was really cool. If I was an Olympian, I'd be meeting those. I don't know about that. Well, of course, yeah, you know, I, at, after the Olympic Games, you know, everybody has a little fun and we all get to go out and stuff like that. But it was, it was, it was a good year. It was a year that it was me, Andre Ward, was on the Olympic team, Andre Durrell. A lot of, a lot of good teams. Uh, Ronda Rousey was on the team with us too. Yeah, for judo. So it was, it was, it was a good year. Speaking of which, what do you think of Ronda Rousey for her fight? She's fighting this weekend in Brazil. Um, I actually trained with Ronda for, for about a year and a half. Uh, Edmund was my trainer also. Um, we trained together for about a year. Um, I think that she, she's really talented. Um, what makes her really hard to beat is that her will and, and her desire of the sport, she loves the sport. You know, outside of the ring, people might, you know, I, I'm in the cage. It's not a ring, it's a cage, but you know, um, she, people not gonna like her as her personality wise, but you know what? I respect her as a fighter. Okay. And what does it mean to be Armenian? Um, it means it means a lot because you got a lot of pride, a lot of respect. When we when we go out there, when we step in the ring, we feel like we're fighting for all the Armenians. And whenever we see an Armenian on TV, everybody gets their attention if you're Armenian. So it's a lot because we're, we're we're not a big nation. But when we see somebody from our nation fighting, it means the world to us and the whole country is behind that person. Yeah, that soccer game kind of hurt, right? I mean, it always does, you know, we, we always get bad calls. But you know what? I think that there's been a big improvement. And, and you know, hopefully one year, hopefully I'm alive by then. I see him in the World Cup or something like that. But I think it's going to happen soon. Okay, well, thank you.